Hello, Double O Crew. We got Glenny down there, Mr. TRK. And today, we are going to try to find some yellow perch. We're going to use the secret bait that we used last year. And hopefully, the crappie will be here too. Right now, it's late February, so generally, the crappie don't get up in this stream until March. But we're going to test it every week until we find them. Until we find that they're actually up in here. So, stay tuned on this adventure and join the ride, see what we can catch. Let's do it. Okay, I think I just had a fish turn on it, but I'm not sure. I'm using a uh, little green nymph. That's called a power nymph by Power Bait. And these things work phenomenal. I'm just using that on a little jig head. Last year they worked amazing in this same exact spot. So we'll see how it works this year. Normally this time of year, the spot's full of yellow perch. And March, the crappy normally get up in here, but sometimes they're a little early. I like testing it week by week and seeing uh, when exactly they come in here. Okay, guys, I think we're going to head upstream. This spot doesn't seem to have anything. Let's see what we can see up in the deeper holes. All right, first deep hole. Let's give this a shot. See what happens here. I would imagine that the crappy would school up in here, too. We just never try it. We always try the uh, up above the bridge for crappy. A lot of grass down there. My favorite spot's up by the uh, the big boulders. I've only ever done good at the bridge a couple times. Normally the boulders is my uh, my go-to. No bites, no taps, no follows. The yellow yellow perch should definitely be in here this time of year. If they're in Gray's Run, they should be in here. We just got to find the school. And when you find the school, they're normally in it by the hundreds or even thousands. There's never any size to them, but there's a big shad run in here too in the spring. I'm going to go up under the bridge. I don't know if you guys can read that or not, but on the bridge, somebody says... Only dead fish follow the stream. <laughs> this, this is the exact spot where I found that this lure right here works. It was literally in this exact spot. This is where I found the beauty of this green power nymph. This was the discovery point. Let's see what else we can discover at this point. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I thought I had a tap, but it wasn't. It was just a stick. Oh, squiggly line. Stick fish. You always set your hook when you feel taps because you never know if it's going to be a fish or not if it's a stick oh well but better to set your hook into a stick than choose to not set your hook and miss that fish that it potentially could be oh god what kind of cast was that would you add one you had a fish though hey look at little gleno all right that's a good sign it means they're hopefully in here you don't know what it was, you said? What kind of fish identifier are you? You're supposed to have radar that reads it the second it comes out of the water. Little eye scanners. I had nothing to follow it on that one. Maybe I gotta slow it down a little bit. I see bait fish. Oh, hello. What were you? Huh. I don't know. Something, something picked it up right there. Okay, guys. What I'm going to do, since these fish are just barely touching it, I'm going to take this nymph off and I'm going to put a wax worm on. Live wax worm and see if that makes a difference with the bite. See if I can get one on a wax worm. Just to figure out what these fish are. Jig head, check. Fat juicy wax worm, check. 
Yellow perch, we shall see. Well, something definitely hit it. Took my wax worm almost all the way off. I think I'm gonna decrease my hook size and redo that same thing and catch this fish. Patterning fish doesn't always come down to bass fishing. You can pattern micro fish. I mean, in all reality, it just comes down to figuring out what you're doing wrong and making changes. So you have to question why those fish aren't committing or why they're missing your lure or whatever the situation may be. You ask yourself the question and then you gotta find the answer. Once you find the answer to the question, you start catching fish and bam, you're patterned. It's as simple as that. So I started off with a big jig head and a nymph, power nymph, and they were chasing it but not fully committing. So I tried the wax worm instead of the power nymph, and again, they fully committed but they were just taking the wax worm completely off. So logic tells me, downsize my hook, and they'll most likely get the hook instead of just the wax worm. Let's see if my theory is correct and see if we can pattern these fish. And you can apply that same logic on a much larger scale too. You can apply it all the way up to bass and lures, just strictly live bait. You can you can use that same little logical sequence right there for any type of fishing that you're doing really. It's very very simple to pattern fish. Takes some time, takes a little bit of effort but if you're determined enough and you want to catch fish bad enough it is extremely doable you just got to do it or you know you could waste time and just be hard-headed and just keep throwing what you're throwing and maybe catch one or two fish when you could have caught 10 or 20 just depends on how productive you want your day to be i guess and if those fish are striking short thread your wax worm on the hook so that way the hook pops out of the very back of the wax worm that way you're not leaving any extra they if they want to grab that wax worm they have to get the hook whereas if you just tip it on there they can just keep popping it off that's part of the pattern so let's see if this little combination here works a good technique to try too is before that wax worm dies when he's still wiggling around a little bit just throw it, in there, throw it in there and let it sit on the bottom. And a lot of times they'll come right over to it because he's wiggling around. And voila! Patterning Fish 101. And that sunfish is having a seizure. <laughs> and that, simply, you just saw the first cast. That's how to pattern fish. It's, it's very, very simple. And like I said, you can do that on a much larger scale too, all the way up to big trophy bass or whatever you want to do. You just got to figure the fish out. Figure out the exact combination and technique. Figure out what they want. What's going to make them commit to the bite. Low pumpkin seed. I'm going to try another cast or two and see if there's any yellow perch in this mix and then we'll head up to the rocks. Now that I got the pattern down, this same pattern should work throughout the entire stream. Number two. Right here, sunfish. Watch that one swim all the way up to it. Look at them having seizures when they come out. What the hell's going on with these things? Easy there, tiger. Mm, okay. That's another red ear. Low guys. All right. Let's go and see if there's any yellow perch up near the boulders. I'm going to take a risk and... Go out on them boulders and see what I can see. The reason why I say I take a risk because it's rainy, as you can see, and it's a little slippery. So, slow and steady does it. Now, normally the best spots in here are right in here, this hole, 
that big hole on the side of the run and then over there on that run and then right in here out, out from this boulder right here that's generally the go-to spots and then there's another spot over here which i'm gonna go to first all right here's my first little hole spot that just showed you guys are right there i like this hole right here sorry for the wind let's see if there's anything in these depths And our first fish of the day is a yellow perch. They're in here, guys. They are definitely in here. All right. And that's on that same pattern. That same... I haven't switched. All we did was walk from down there underneath the bridge and come right here. Patterning fish can make the difference in the world. He's got a little uh, deformed tail there. All right, well guys, it's getting a little bit rainy here for this uh, GoPro, so I'm gonna put it away. But that was patterning fish with Session Outdoors, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. We love comments, so any questions about anything, always leave comments below. Me and Glenny here, me and Mr. TRK here, are gonna get back to fishing. So until next time, we will see you on Session Outdoors.